AI running on chain. Elna AI, AI on blockchain. Elna AI is world's first on chain AI agent creation platform. You may connect with Elna AI on X at Elna underscore D E A I. When you come to Elna's website, you're greeted with truly decentralizing AI, community driven, transparent AI agent creation and monetization platform on blockchain. As it says here, they have a creator studio, which allows you to easily create on chain AI agents with your choice of available tools on Elna. There's an agent marketplace, which offers a transparent monetization and listing of the AI agents. There's a developer ecosystem where you can list and monetize AI tools like custom LLMs, data sets, and so forth on blockchain. And of course, they give a few examples of some AI agents, although this section isn't very helpful because there's no real context. It doesn't really tell you what exactly that those AI agents can or cannot do. One can reasonably guess that the Definity agent would be adept at answering questions about Definity and internet computer, but that may or may not actually be the case. And some of these things I'm not familiar with at all, like Electi Guide, not a clue what that is. But if you continue down the page, there's some additional details, of course. A lot of it is to me, just, just kind of marketing, you know, because talks about how it's transparent to the core because it's community driven and open source and therefore verifiable. There's a decentralized architecture, which there should be if it really is Web3, which it is for the most part because it's built on internet computer and it leverages blockchain tech to ensure a decentralized AI network. There's customization that is available. It's able to scale with your AI demands with enduring performance and just all the, the kind of stuff that a person would probably want to hear. And again, you've got AI orchestration, managing AI processes and workflows directly on the blockchain, on-chain retrieval, augmented generation or RAG. But we'll see down here, on-chain and off-chain inference engine support, allowing flexibility and integration of diverse AI models, both within and outside the blockchain network. So while Elna itself runs on chain, chain, evidently you could build AI agents which in turn connect to off-chain AI models or data sets. However, the Elna AI DAP itself is Web3. It is on-chain. As we can see here in their published roadmap that they are in beta at this time, as we'll see that the beta release in version 0.1 is deployed. Progressing further, we launched the beta with an integrated on-chain prompt engine and retrieval augmented generation or RAG agent enhancing Elna's ability for highly contextualized responses. This culminated in the release of version 0.1, boasting advanced LM agent creation and their capability to integrate to external applications, marking a major leap in our roadmap. And what's currently under development is the canister implementation of vector databases. The vector database indexes and stores vector embeddings for fast retrieval and similarity search. And well, you get the gist here. There's going to be an AI agent toolkit coming up and they're talking about AGI, which is artificial general intelligence, which is kind of the holy grail of AI. But this is way that where they currently are at, which is in beta. We see here dap.elna.ai loaded in a web browser. Keep in mind this is in beta as we see here even next to subscription it's marked as beta. The other day I was in here playing around with some of the AI agents and they were working. Unfortunately at the moment they are not working but this is what the AI dashboard would look like. At some point you would be able to create an agent from scratch. Currently you cannot even if I log in with my internet identity it just tells me I do not have permission because that feature is not yet developed or released but when we go back to the AI agents for example I have queried this one a few times previously however none of them are actually working at the moment 
and they're just throwing network errors as we see here at the top right, which is unfortunate. And I believe the same will be true with the other agents as well. And again, just network errors. But this gives you a pretty good feel for the dashboard, at, le at least the way it's laid out currently in this early beta version. But the basic idea is that you'll be able to create agents and those agents can appear in the marketplace. And there's a certain cost to use agents and you'll be able to make money off of your AI agents when other people use them. So it's going to really depend upon your choice of agents that you create and how well you set those agents up, as well as, of course, the success of the project overall. Elna AI is available through ICP Swap. However, bear in mind that there's not a lot of liquidity, which means that trading will be a little bit costly at this time. And speaking of the time, it is currently about 8.52 p.m. Pacific, Friday, November 22nd. And we see over here at icptokens.net forward slash bubbles that Elna AI is currently up about 16%. Although, as you can clearly see, it is pretty green across the market today in the ICP ecosystem. And in fact, it is pretty green today across crypto as a whole. One of the nice things about Elna is the token distribution. So for example, there are 5,751 holders, according to information here at IC Explorer. Current market cap is $2,872,438. And if we divide the current market cap by the number of holders, it averages out to just under $500 per holder. If we do the same thing with the fully diluted market cap and divide that by the number of holders, it's about $848 worth of Elena per holder on the average. It is also worth noting that at this time, about 50% of the tokens belong to one address, and I don't currently know what that one address is, but I'm guessing it is the team or the treasury, just based on glancing at a few of these transactions. Oftentimes that is the case. However, this does warrant further investigation before investing as just one of the key points to check out before putting a large amount of money into this project or any other project for that matter. I like the basic idea behind this, leveraging on-chain decentralization to run AI on-chain while still leaving the door open to leverage off-chain assets if and when needed, as well as providing the opportunity to create and customize AI agents and put them out to market in order to get them working for you by allowing other people to rent your AI agents. If this project is successful, then it has a lot of potential to greatly increase cycle burn as well as to serve as a good use case demonstrating AI running fully on-chain with internet computer.